not a shovel. It's a spade. Yeah, man. Barbecue time. Guys, I love a my job. Very good man. <laughs> Hey there guys, welcome to Mexico. I decided to do a little project. I was sitting around the house. I've got some chicken in the fridge. I thought, I'm hungry for a little barbecue or grilled chicken or something like that. I came up with this idea. I'm going to make a little, what they call a fogon here in Mexico. We can put firewood or charcoal. And grill the chicken, we could fry fish out here anything like that so i'm not going to build a permanent thing i'm just going to build something kind of temporary so i'm digging here a little trench where i can lay the block into and then i pile two blocks on top of each other if i use these thick blocks i'll get some stone chippings to put on the bottom and get a metal grate to lay on top let's see let's see if this will fit in here this thing to balance here I put the block here I put two on top I might have to dig deeper because I want it flush with this wall oh we gotta go a lot more A lot higher. I want to use these thick blocks here because um, they will crack less with the heat than if I use these little ones. These little ones are easier, but they crack. They will crack with the heat a lot quicker. Right here next to the pool. We've been gone in Belize for a while. So got the pool cleaned, I refilled it, we have a deep water well, so it's very easy to refill and free. So I've got to dig this a lot deeper for the block to fit in there. I want to put two blocks on top of each other. The grill will be this height. If I decide I want it higher, I just stack a couple blocks here on top and I can make it higher. I don't have to cement them or anything. That way, if one day I do something else, I just take it apart. But that way we can grill chicken out here, barbecue chicken, charcoal. We could put firewood, have firewood fried fish. Firewood fried fish. Um, anything you want to cook outside. Okay, you don't want to cook fish in the house because the houses here in Mexico do not have ventilation. Um, those vents over the stoves, we don't have those here. And um, even with those, the house gets stinky when you fry fish. That's why in Vancouver, Canada, the Chinese, or not Chinese, just even the Asians, they have, well, the ones with money, they have a kitchen, and then they have what they call a dirty kitchen. And the, and the ones with money, they have the dirty kitchen in a sealed room behind the regular kitchen. So I remember I went looking at houses, and I asked them, I said, why do you have a kitchen behind the kitchen? And that's when I learned the secret. They said, this is when you cook stinky food. They say, you cook it in here and you close the door and turn on the vent fans and it don't stink up the house. And when you cook clean food that don't smell bad, then you use the front kitchen. So that's a great idea. And I noticed they have that also a lot. Well, I have, haven't seen in person, but I've seen on YouTube in places like Philippines, Vietnam, and those places. They will have an indoor kitchen, but they'll also have an outdoor kitchen. 
I'm going to get cook stinky stuff. You know, fish, fish. You fry fish in the house, your house gets really stinky. That's why we have not cooked fish in our house in so long, even in Canada. The only fish we would cook in the house would be like fish fillet or something. But like a whole fried fish, no, it just stinks. Too much. Too smelly. So that's where this will come in handy. Yeah, I'll get stone chipping, I'll put it on the floor here. And that should do the trick. I just have to make this hole deep enough so I can put two of these blocks on top of each other. That will be the wall there. And then the grill will just lay on top. Very low tech. Low tech design. No high tech here. I just have to have this deep enough so the other block can sit on top. Maybe I got it now. Let me see these damn blocks are sheer. I still gotta go down like one inch. These blocks are heavy. Ugh. These are leftover blocks that we use here to pour this patio for the swimming pool. We've been gone about a month and a half vlogging in Belize. The jungle is growing. The jungle is growing. I sprayed some Roundup or some weed killer on this one. I can't spray it on this one. This one we're going to have to rip it out by hand because there's flowers in there and I want to kill them off. I sprayed also the weed killer all along here and then um, everything get back to normal. So I got to get dig this down about one inch more. One inch more. So. some weed can learn here too gotta get it all back to normal it's looking wild around here so more digging less talking I gotta go down one more inch way I could use the thick blocks these thin blocks they fit but the thick blocks they don't so make it work with the thin ones not with the thin ones with the thick ones see if I can stand up this camera here you can see what's going on yeah that works so this is my project of today. It just came out of the blue. I was out here, I was checking the weeds that I poured the weed killer on, sprayed it on. And then um, I looked in the fridge and I had some chicken legs that I bought and I thought, man, I could use a chicken cooked on charcoal. That would taste so good. Cause when you buy it, you know, it's not cheap, right? You cook it much cheaper and that's when I, I hit with this idea so I was gonna buy a buy a regular grill well it's not a regular it's homemade grills that people make out of tire rims here in Mexico but they're like 400 350 to 400 pesos and I thought man let me do my own thing here And if this is no good, 
then I can always buy one of the other ones. The other ones I like because you can move them around if the smoke is bothering you. But let me try this first. I've got the block sling here. The only thing I have to buy is a, a sack of stone chippings. Which I don't think is too expensive. And then we'll be set. I might buy some charcoal by the market. I could get some lenya also. Some lenya is Spanish for firewood. And then um, we could be set. Oh. I'm go one inch deeper and then this block will sit in here good and I'll be able to put the second one on top and it'll be flush with this wall a little while I gotta go take a coke zero break Damn, it's hot. We got a coconut tree here. The coconuts are pretty much dry because coconut trees don't go grow very good this far from the ocean. We're only 30 minutes by road from the ocean. But I guess a coconut tree can tell the difference. So we don't have that salty dirt here. They say the air is very salty in most cars quick, but not the dirt. I actually was digging in here. Oh, I can't find it anymore. I found I found some Mayan pottery here in the dirt. Okay, you know this is Yucatan land of the Mayas. Oh so yeah, I found Mayan pottery in here. If I find another piece I'll show you. You'll see here a thing from a wire, but these are dead. These are no longer active. I know because there was another one right down there and I I chopped it with the machete and those sparks came out and then I took the two beer and stuck them together. I guess they're old wires <sighs> from some previous owner. <sighs> Let me try this again. <sighs> What did I get myself into? I just remember we have a pick. So let me get the pick. That make it easier for digging it out. That pick's been laying in the same spot for months. Gonna get some use now. Let me set up the camera to record so I can work. Got my trusty machete here. That's why I used to chop the wire. I chopped the wire with machete. I didn't get electrocuted. So it's a good sign. I didn't get electrocuted anyway. There's nothing going on in there. Set this up.
Yeah, this will make it easier. Not a lot of room in here, but... I can loosen up the... easier than the way I was doing it before. A lot easier. Get out of here now. Hopefully the blocks will fit better now. Two rows of blocks. I thought this was pottery but it's actually a tile, a piece of broken tile. I did find a piece of pottery, Mayan pottery in here. Some were buried in there. That mines live everywhere here in the Yucatan. Yeah, this is looking good now. It might be better. This little corner I gotta dig it back with the shovel here because it's really hard to get in there with the pick. Sounds like the neighbor's got a new dog and it's tied up and he's barking. I don't know why they have a dog and to tie it up. We have a dog, Chihuahua, Pancho. You've probably seen him in some of our older videos. He roams loose in the house. We got the bathroom, we open the back door. He goes in the backyard. Then we go plastic bag, pick it up. We never tie up a dog. I think that's in a human cruel. And you hear him how he's up in there he's he's unhappy don't tie up your dog man hey. that's the way of life around here this corner here that corner there is cement wall there. So I'm gonna have to slide it a little more this way. That's what's blocking it. Like a little, I don't know, probably the foundation. And it built this wall.
she's dead, otherwise Sparks would have been coming out. Yeah. No electrocution. No electrocution for me. With this intense heat that we have, the camera keeps shutting off, so I laid it in the shade. I went to get myself a Coke Zero. And I got these awesome, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, Coca-Cola glasses. It says Coca-Cola there etched on the glass. Really cool. I buy the Coca-Cola and two and a half liter bottles at Chedrawi for 33 pesos. A lot cheaper than buying the record bottles. But this is coming along good. Here you can see where I chopped off the wire. They're, they're dead wires. So let's see if this block fits inside. Alright, it's heavy with one hand. Looking good. Looking really good. Put the other one on top. <laughs> Shit is heavy. Hmm. I'm gonna scrape that dirt into the sides. That's gonna hold it all better into place. And now comes the test. If I want to go higher, is this flush? Yes, it is. Ah, it's not. That means the bottom block. I need to work on the bottom block a little more. Maybe. They get a little more out here. Very little. Very, very little. Cheers, folks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this corner here, I have to make sure this corner is clean. Because of here, because of this here. The block doesn't go flush against the wall. So it has to be stuck closer to this side corner here. But it's gonna be good having a little fire pit. I guess, what do they call this in English? Fire pit? In Spanish it's called a fogon. You can use these for barbecue and chicken or cooking meat or if you put firewood in there, put a frying steel cast iron frying pan on top and then use it to fry fish that looks better that looks much better oh. this a bit I gotta go a little deeper let me turn off the camera while I move this stuff because it's really hot
Oh man, it's coming along now. Yeah, it was just a, maybe, a, not even, not even a quarter of an inch. I have to go deeper, except I'm hitting roots here now. Coconut tree roots. They're ready. Check. I think I think I have it now. I think I have it. I think it'll be perfect. Yeah. That should do the trick. more stable too. Let's see how this if I need to go higher. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Check that out. See, if I do need to go higher, camera sit on you. If I need to go higher, I can put one or two more row of blocks here. I can have the grid even this high. So you'll have to be bending down, killing your back. Perfect. As they say, fantastic. Dirt in here. Yeah. Easier ways of doing this kind of stuff. Let me get a shovel. Well, no shovel, but for those of you who don't know, this is not a shovel. This is a spade because it's pointy, but it will do the trick. Fill it back in there with the dirt and that stuff. This is going to be an awesome, whatever the heck you call it, grill, barbecue. I used to have a kind of barbecue like this. Here it is. Is this it? No, that's a tile again. I thought it was mine pottery. I used to have like this in my house in Corzal Town, Belize. Oh, well, made entirely out of block. Well, this is entirely out of block, too. But the one I used to have was um, just piled up blocks. They weren't stuck or anything. So here I'm cheating a little bit. I'm using this flower planter that was here. Once it works, it's all that counts. Awesome. I wish I could find a piece of Mayan pottery to show you guys. Buried somewhere in here. That stuff is so common. Not really a big thing. I'm wondering, should I put some gravel on the floor of this? Or just leave the dirt? Get a firewood and all that goes on top of here. These rocks, you can stay in here. I'll just level it out a bit. Yeah, the rocks won't bother. Ooh. 
damn, now my battery's going dead. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to get like a, a real hardcore permanent barbecue grill because um, we're going to be traveling very, very soon. Maybe we'll be on the road already when this video comes out, maybe not. I'm not sure. It'll just be sitting here in the yard. My battery on the GoPro went dead and while looking for my battery, look I found my YouTube. My YouTube cap. Cheers to the Coke Zero. Yeah, so as I was saying before, the badly, rudely, battery rudely interrupted us. We're going to be traveling very, very soon. Far, far away. We might be gone for a year. At least a year. So, I don't need to have no um, the barbecue grill here just rusting away. Don't need that. So, this will do the trick. <coughs> Yeah, this is gonna be nice. That's a bottle cap. <laughs> this will do the trick very well. Pound this down a bit. I don't even know if I have to put dirt on top. I maybe don't have to. And not dirt them. What are you calling? Stone chippings. Probably don't even have to. Guys, don't forget to leave me a comment. I'm always so happy when I get comments. When I don't get comments, I get sad. I'm like, man, nobody's interested. So please send comments. I enjoy reading them. I answered them all. That's part of the joys of this. Yeah, so I'm gonna have a welder make me a grill that goes on top. This is actually very large. Should maybe make it a little smaller. It looks very large. I mean, what I'm gonna cook on here? Several chickens. And maybe made it around here make it smaller I can make it smaller by just laying some blocks on the inside oh but I can't lay the blocks on the inside unless I have the floor level with this I'll see what I do but that's about it for today because I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to measure that get some stone chippings I think one sack of stone chippings on the floor will be good if I have left over I fill in these holes on the block and then yeah, measure this and get a grate made for it yeah this can be good so I'll see you as soon as I keep working on this project I'll show you what's gonna happen see you in a bit Yeah, first a quick dip in the pool. Enjoy this water. It's about 7.30 in the morning. I'm gonna continue working now on the grill. I wanna get ready for the weekend because we might have some visitors this weekend. So I wanna try out that barbecue. See how it works. Well, that was a good swim, but I came here to my pit that I'm building. I decided it's too big. What am I gonna cook in a huge space area? It's way too much. I think this should be the width here. I think what I have to do is put it like that wide. This will be the width here. That length. That is too much. I mean, for that whole thing there, you know, 
even here, you know how much chicken I can cook on a little piece of yet? Or steaks or fish or anything. So I'm going to rebuild. Rebuild this thing completely. Oh man. I hope I can pull this out of the ground. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be a little hard. Let me try it out. Let me stand this thing here. <clears throat> so, the line has to go around here. Let me, let me lay some rocks. Where the line will be. Oh. Anyway, that's a pretty deep hole, so now I gotta dig it here. Just put the stuff over on that side and keep on going. This is much better. I changed the width from that. Before the width was around there. This is much, much better here. I can lay it blocks on top. I make it a little higher. Put some blocks on top like that. Then the grill. I can maybe even two rows of blocks. Then you, could, then you don't even have to bend. I'll see how that works, you know, when I finally get the grill and we cook it's probably the right height with one block because you know I'm extra tall so that'll probably be the right height lay the grill on top here put the charcoal there I found some gravel I put down this here for now so it'll follow my foot as I'm wearing my steel toed toes I found some gravel back here that we had left over from the pool construction. I'm gonna have to get a little bucket, dump him into a bucket. Okay, that's not gonna work. Otherwise, got myself a little bucket here and get this gravel out of here. That should be more than enough that I need for this job. The lane here since we built the crew deck just rot it out. Let me try to Try the shovel. See if it'll go a little better with the shovel.
not a shovel. It's a spade. This is not a shovel, this is a spade. If you didn't know, now you know. Yeah! That might be more than enough. Might be more than enough. One little bucket full of gravel. There's a little bit more if I need. It will definitely, let me look at this one more time. Yeah, there's a little bit more just in case I need it. Oh yeah, looking good. This here, the mind for a little airflow, you know, that can stay open. That's looking awesome. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Let's see if I have enough blocks around here. Put around the edge. Got a few blocks laying around the yard. See how my invention goes. Wow, it's like it's like it was made just for me. Perfectly. right there. Can't get better than that. Might even be too high. Maybe I'll have to use the lower one. I'll put a little more gravel and get some more gravel. I gotta turn this off because maybe not. Gravel is what's left is a two-hand job. Very little left. Very, very little. Let me see how I manage this. Oh, the bag don't rip. Maybe lower. I think. I think it's better. I think it's better without those. I really think it is. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it'll be better like that. I'll just leave these here. There's a table. I think this is the height that I need. Yeah, that should be it. I need to measure it and go see if a guy can build me a little grill for this. Hopefully not too expensive. All right. All right, uh, the breeze is blowing. Feels good. Let me measure to see how long, how wide we need a grill for this. 29 inches wide. by 33 inches long 33 by 28 one more time 33 right there Should do that should do the trick Twenty-eight inches by thirty-three. That will do the trick. Now I gotta see if I find something. How deep is this? Ten inches. Yeah, about nine and a half inches. Now let me see if I find somebody who will weld something up like this for me quick. Can we need it for this weekend? Because we got people coming over. So we're gonna do a little barbecue. So I'll see you in a little bit. It seems like it's gonna rain, but what I'm gonna do, rip out some of those weeds. Got it nice and dry. Let me rip them out. I'll clean it up a little bit here. Got me barbecue time, cervezas, superior, maybe dos equis, I don't know what else. Gonna be good. guys it's starting to rain take a look at that it's looking fantastic but it's starting to rain so time to get in the house and drink a coke zero see you in a little bit I went to the guy who does welding work and I gave him the size of the grill that we need it's 22 inches by 32 inches and he coated me 800 pesos to weld up a thing like this can you imagine that that's crazy 800 pesos you know i could buy a ready-made grill in a tire you know they make them here with tire rims i could buy one of those for him um, about 350 pesos so i forget i'm not paying that so we thought about it there's some people who live a couple of blocks from here and they are recyclers. They pick up stuff, mostly metal and stuff like that, and sell it for recycling. So let me go see them and see what they say. Look what we got. We got a grill, an old one. You know how much it cost? Let me put it down first, see if it fits. Okay, I don't even know if it fits. Yeah! I could put it lengthways. I'd have to pull this block a little bit over. Or I could put sideways like this. 
That works too. 10, 10 pesos. Yes, 10 pesos. We only need a little while because we're going to be traveling overseas very soon. So this is perfect because we have people coming in on on Saturday or Sunday. I remember which day we're going to do the barbecue out here. This is the right thing. I think it'd be better this way, but um, it's not quite as wide. So I'll put a put a block here. Put a block. Oh, that's lower, so that's not good. That's not good. Okay, so slide this over a bit. This goes on top. Let's slide a little more that way. Yeah. We got a great grill for only 10 pesos. Let me put one block here. One block. Maybe on this side. Let's see if that'll fit. I don't even need those blocks here. I don't even need those there. This one I'll leave here. Uh, we've got a great barbecue grill for 10 pesos. How much money I spend on this? Zero. Zero. Because I had the blocks left over from construction. I had the gravel left over from construction. Oh, not zero, 10 pesos. And we bought the grill for 10 pesos. So let's barbecue! No, otra. Oh. Va a tomar? No, va a tomar. Si, va a tomar el video. Ahí está, este es el video. Este es el video. Para que tú estés en el Hey guys, here we are. We're loading up some more meat on the barbecue grill. This grill, I had the blocks. I put gravel on the floor. So the only thing I bought was the grill piece here. It cost me 56 cents, this whole barbecue grill. Even this tile, I had this tile so I didn't have to buy a tile. We got a wooden stump there that was here in the yard. He used that as an extra table. And we got the bar here. The girls are drinking Super Yur. The guys were drinking <laughs> Cerveza Indio. We have a Bluetooth speaker back there blasting some music. And we are having a party. Yeah. Right next to the pool. In a little while, we're going to jump into the pool. The pool is ready and filled. The sun is less hot right now pool is looking good so i built the grill right there on the corner our maria's cousins are here umberto there he is he's doing he's mastering the grill and his wife and her sister they're from cancun mexico pancho our dog he's waiting for some meat to fall and sugar-free travel here he's chilling out he's he's on break from Itztapa, mexico where he lives Came for a little vacation here for a few weeks, but it's looking good. Look at that. That's a 56 cents US barbecue grill. 10 pesos, that's all I spent building that thing. We had leftover blocks, tiles, gravel, all of that. That's how we do it. Yaman, yeah, barbecue time. We got pork. We got some chicken coming up in a little bit but first we're doing the pork because we got a lot of pork we might not even do the chicken 
and where are you Maria she's making flour tortillas Cheers, guys. there's where are you Maria drinking her super <laughs> I've been cooking yeah he'd been busy she's been making the barbecue sauce and the baked beans and um, I and season the meat and I'm cooking the Season meat. the meat and she's supervising the cooking so it doesn't get dried out the meat. Okay, yes. Sir. And then um, yes, it's going to be good. And I have re resurrected my okay. famous hat that I started vlogging with you in Mexico. I haven't used it for a while. I've, it's been laying inside my Volkswagen van for ages, but I just haven't used it. But it's time to put it back to use. Que lo ahí, no? No, ya no va a caber. Sí. ¿Dónde está la? Aquí. Bueno. Creo que tenemos pollo también. Eh, si quieran comer de aquí, toman. Traje los platos de, de, de sables. Here we have the barbecue chef, Umberto yeah. himself, doing I, a good job. He's a, he's a great I, man, guys. I he's love a my job. very good man. <laughs> he's a very good husband of my cousin. He does everything for you. You love your job cooking barbecue? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Can I do it every day? Yeah. <laughs> days. Guys, this is what the food looks like here. We got barbecued pork, we got coleslaw, we got baked beans, and fresh corn tortillas right from the factory bottom about 20 minutes ago. Take a look at this. <laughs> awesome meal. Awesome meal. <laughs> the chefs are at work back here. They are hard at work. Look at that. Yeah. That is good. <laughs> we got the mugs of cold cerveza in you. Look at that. See, perfection. Let's see how it looks in there. Look at that. Damn. It's good. And it smells better. Yeah. Guys, my food is here. Check it out. Got my barbecue pork chops, big beans, coleslaw, uh, and cerveza indio. It's gonna be good. I'll see you guys later because I'm gonna eat. And later on we're planning something. I'll show you when we do it. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Well, the food was absolutely delicious. My 10 peso barbecue grill did the job and it was so good. The meat was tender, was not dry, was juicy, everything good. We're planning to do something out here a little later. I might put it on, I might not, might. I might put it on, I might not put it on. Depends on how it looks. I'll let you guys know. So stay tuned. I got turned this way because of the light. So stay tuned and if you see the rest, it'll be here. In the meantime, I will have a cerveza in you. Relax and digest my food. Let's keep watching. Cheers. And the fun begins. Tsunami! <laughs> After a good meal and some beers, the pool party has begun. Pool party time. Check that out. They're skinny dipping, so no cameras allowed. <laughs> pool party time. 